We're gonna do standing pretzel for our seat work today. So you're gonna stay standing with your bar or your chair, okay? Your heels are gonna to come together, your toes are gonna to come apart into a wide knee position. So look down, you want a lot of space between your toes, okay? And you wanna be facing your bar, okay? You're gonna extend your left toes behind you, okay? And then tuck your hips under, your toes gonna to come a little closer, it might slide on your carpet or your mat, okay? And then you're gonna bring that leg out to the edge of your mat or about eight inches on a diagonal out to the side. Tuck those hips again. Now you can see how my hip opened here a little bit. I'm gonna close it. Every time you bring that leg out, your hip just kind of opened. You wanna actively close it here to get a squeeze in the corner of your seat right here. Then you're gonna bend your leg completely in half. You're gonna press out with a hold out, hold. Out, hold. Couple things, don't lean forward. So tempting to lean forward. We wanna shift our weight back so that our weight is actually in our standing leg. Out, hold. You keep going, I'm gonna show you some different angles of how this looks, okay? So from the back, you see I like to set up every time. Back, out with a hold, out hold. So right here from the corner of your seat, you're feeling that deep squeeze of your glute, out hold. You're going out to the side, like someone has a string, they're pulling the string up right to the ceiling like that. Here we go, out hold, up hold, up hold. Now go a little faster, it's up, and I'm just gonna move a little closer with my leg here so you can see how this looks out to the side. Now at a hip level, try to keep this hip not like this, okay? I'm gonna hang on into the bar. I'm trying to keep my shoulders right over my hips, my hips square toward the bar and level, okay? Level hip, so I'm not lifting this hip up like this, I'm keeping it low, out, out and out, out and out. Shoulder blades are pulled back. If you're like, oh, I'm getting a little cramp here, that's great. Press out, out. Now you're gonna flex that foot, Pull your heel to your seat, and then you're gonna press back with a hold, back hold with your heel. Back hold. Shoulders over hips, back hold. Inhale, exhale. Now if you start to lean forward, okay, I want you to feel yourself shifting forward and I want you to pull back a little bit. Sometimes with a chair, you actually might feel this more with a bar because with a chair, you're gonna feel it kind of shift a little bit, like, oh, I must be leaning forward, so lean back a little bit. Try not to pull away from the bar though. Don't tuck your hips under so much that you start to lean back like this. We're not in any sort of water ski position. Press back quickly to finish. That's right, to finish. Back and back. Shoulders over hips, glutes tuck. Back, back. Inhale, exhale, back. Back, back, and back. Don't forget to breathe. Hips tucked. Almost done. Hold the back, just kick in, in. And I'm gonna turn around so you can see what that looks like. That is a kick in of your heel to your seat. In. Now make sure your standing leg has a soft bend in it. So bend that right knee a little bit. I know you're feeling this right here on your right side too. That's totally normal. The more you take bar classes, the more you come to bar, the less you're gonna be able to feel that there and you'll feel more of it coming into your working leg. But when you're just starting with bar, your leg is just struggling to hold you up. Last 10 counts. Nine, eight, shoulders back, belly in. Hips tucked, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, okay? We're gonna go right into the other side here, okay? So heels together, toes apart. Extend your toes on the floor behind you, tuck your hips under. Bring that shape out to the edge of your mat, eight inches out to the side. Then bend that leg in half. Tuck your hips under, square your hips to your chair, pulse out with a hold. All right, I'll face you here just because you can see that with my bar, my leg's facing the window, you can't really see it. So when you're doing this, again, the only leg you really have to look at is my right leg here, you're going, out with a hold, out hold. See how my hips closing here? I'm putting a lot of weight into this leg. I wanna shift it back, over. So you can see I'm tenting my fingertips so I can push my weight over, out hold. Hips are square, level. Soft bend in the standing leg, out hold. Inhale and exhale. From the back, out hold, out hold. Shoulder blades back, belly in, out hold, out hold. A little faster, press out, 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 and out right here, okay? Now some things I'll see in class is I'll see people's heels drop a lot, like this, like they're pressing out and out. Pull your heel to your seat really tightly. That's gonna activate your hamstring, get a little hamstring work, okay? So pull that heel in, out and out. I also see people's uh, heels come all the way in like this, almost like they're doing a figure four stretch in the back. Just keep that heel right behind your toes.
Now flex that foot and press back with a hold, back hold. Now that back with a hold, I want you to take your heel like you're stomping a button behind you. And it's gonna be the same button every time, okay? So as you do this move, you're not stomping a random button like this. Think about a little red button right behind your heel. You're gonna hit it every time. Back hold, okay? Now you should have a deep tuck of your tailbone here while pulling your shoulder blades back, pulling your belly in, okay? So as you have that deep tail, uh, tuck, squeeze those glutes a little bit. You're gonna feel that more intensely in the corner of your seat. Press back more quickly, back. Back, shoulders are relaxed. Second to last thing, back. Relax those grip, relax your arms. You shouldn't be holding on to anything for dear life. Soft bed in that standing leg. We don't wanna lock out that leg, okay? Make sure that foot on the ground is turned out. And you wanna shift some of your weight to the insole of that foot. That's gonna work into the uh, inside of your thigh here. It's gonna keep the work from sinking into your right hip. It's gonna keep the work in your muscles. 10 more, nine, eight, tuck under for five, four, three, two. Heel kicks in, in and in, in and in. Inhale, exhale, hips tucked. Just breathe. Shoulders over hips, don't lean into the bar, in, in, no rebound. So not this, that's too big. We wanna keep it tight, keep it small. Belly in here, shoulders back, 10 and you're done. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one release. Shake it out. Next set is going to, next video is going to have another set of hamstring work followed by a stretch series. So if you want to do your stretch with me, please head to the next video to watch it. Follow the outfit. If you feel like you're done, just do a figure four stretch on the ground and you're all set with your glutes for today. Thanks for watching.